Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and in today's video, we will learn about the coverage area calculation for an ESC lightning arrestor. By the end of this video, you will understand what is an ESC lightning arrestor, what is a lightning arrestor's coverage area and how you can calculate that coverage area. So let's start with the question. What is an ESC lightning arrestor? Also known as an early streamer emission lightning arrestor, this technology offers safety from direct lightning strikes. The aim of this device is simple. It increases the radius of protection as compared to conventional arrestors. By doing so, it reduces the number of lightning arrestors and down conductors you will need for your building. Yet, it provides complete protection. It protects by ensuring that the lightning bolts are safely channeled into the lightning arrestor instead of striking random objects. From there, the high voltage surges are dissipated into the ground safely. But what is the coverage area of a lightning arrestor? The coverage area is the area within which the arrestor can protect a structure from lightning strikes. As you can see in this figure, the coverage area is the part that comes under the semicircle. This semicircle is calculated by considering the radius of protection, which is calculated based on the following parameters. The height of the lightning arrestor, the level of protection decided during risk assessment, and lastly, the type of arrestor like our models, ASLA 15, 30, and 60. Finally, coming towards the calculation of the coverage area. Here's the formula for calculating the coverage area. In this formula, RP is the protection radius of the ESC, H is the height of the ESC, R is the constant value for different levels of protection derived from the NFC standard, Delta is the constant value for different ESC models. This value is given by the ESC manufacturer based on the lightning strike carrying capacity of the arrestor. Let's explore this concept deeper with the help of an example. Suppose the height of your arrestor is 5 meters. You're selecting a protection level of 4, which means the value of R will be 16 meters. And you're selecting the ASLA 60 ESC model, so your delta value will be 63 meters. Using these numbers and plugging them into the formula, we get a coverage area of 110 meters. This means that all objects within the radius of 110 meters of your lightning arrestor are protected from direct lightning strikes. We have done all the hard work of calculating this formula for various configurations so that you don't have to. Just refer to this table to know the radius of protection for your structure. Now let's use the same values as the example above using this table. Let's say the height of your AAC arrestor is 5 meters, you're aiming for a protection level of 4 for ASLA 60 model and using the table again you get the coverage coverage area is 110 meters. I hope you now have a clear understanding of the ESC coverage area calculation. Please note, these calculations and design should only be carried out by a competent or authorized engineer. At AXIS, we have a team of 40 plus engineers who are here to help you in designing, installing and testing your lightning protection and grounding systems. Our products have been used in substations, data centers, factories, and even in everyday residential and commercial buildings. Before skipping to another video, please note these technicalities are different for conventional and ESC lightning arrestors. But how are ESC different from conventional lightning arrestors? Understand by watching the video right here. 